All right, guys. Hey, what's going on? We got Miss Alicia, Michelle, Kimora, Mini Toyland. What's going on, everybody? Okay, so we're going to do something very exciting here. Well, we'll make it exciting for two reasons. All right, here we go. Hold on. Um, exciting for reason number one. We are going to try to attempt to dual stream. What? Instagram over here. YouTube live over here. Everybody can join in. How do you like that? All right. So hopefully this is going to work out because I've got something I'm really, 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 really excited to open. You know what? Maybe I'll put this a little closer here. So it looks like I'm looking at the camera at all times, kind of. Anyway, whatever. Instagram peeps, can you hear me? Am I coming through? Picture clear, sound quality good? Let me know. YouTube, what's up? Megan, what's up? I always say it wrong. Annalise, 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 maybe that's, maybe that's it. How do I sound coming through? Picture good? Let me know. Oh, I might pop over to YouTube if you're streaming over there. It's a little less buffery. Yes, I'm on YouTube and I am on Instagram. All right, sound good. What's up, Chewy? What's up, brother? Hello, Megan. Hello, hello, hello. All good, all good, awesome. So yes, I'm on YouTube and I am on Instagram. So we are gonna do, if you're on YouTube, you see what I'm actually going to be unboxing. If you're on Instagram, you don't know yet, but we are going to do a Instagram squad and YouTube squad. Done and done. All right, so we're gonna do like a, you know, we're gonna do like an opening act here. <laughs> I actually have, I haven't unboxed this. This is not the major thing. Um, YouTube, Blind Bag Toy Attic. Um, wait, let me just double check. Is that my YouTube? <laughs> uh, my YouTube handle, oh. It is Bag Toy Attic, but also too on YouTube. Um, my YouTube link is in the of my Instagram. So you can just go there and click on the link and you'll get to my YouTube page. All right, so anyway, so like I said, we're gonna do like, like a, a warm up here. So I have something major I'm excited to unbox, which is in this Entertainment Earth box. It's gonna be super exciting. That's all I gotta say about that. And I have this that I haven't unboxed. So this, I believe, is the December 2017 um, Disney Store Tsum Tsum subscription box. So we're going to unbox this too. So we're going to start with this before we get to the off. It's super, super awesome um, thing, in my opinion. Okay, so uh, I see you guys. I see your comments, um, but I'm doing dual stream, so I might miss some here and there. So I'm, if I do, I'm not ignoring you. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to catch it all. But I know I wanted to do this other thing where as many people as possible could check it out. Okay, so we're going to start with the same. So this is a monthly subscription box from the Disney store directly. And it is for the Tsum Tsums, the plush Tsum Tsums. And I don't know. Actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, usually I see people posting their December um, boxes and maybe I just missed it or maybe on purpose I was trying to ignore it because I don't want to spoil mine. But I have no clue what the theme is or what's coming in here. Uh, it's December, so maybe it's going to be something kind of holiday-ish. I don't know because um, the Tsum Tsum box doesn't, doesn't have any kind of spoilers or theme revealers that I know of other than people getting the box in their hand and you watching it on YouTube or Instagram. Okay, so here we go. When you open your box, you get your invoice, but it usually comes wrapped in some tissue paper like this. All right, so we'll take that out, then it's an empty box. And then, ah, in the tissue paper, which they already fell out, is some more tissue paper. And then the small package that's wrapped that says Disney, Tsum Tsum, so there we go. What's up, Traveling Cuteness? 
I want to know the big items. We're going to get to the big items, so hang on. It's going to be good. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what's in the um, Decembers, because I have no clue. No clue. Hey, Clint, I see you join. What's up? Okay, so it's wrapped in here. So the thing I liked about, I don't collect the Disney plush, per se, Tsum Tsums. I do like doing the mystery bags because, one, they're fine bags. But, two, I like it because they also come with the accessory. So you get the small vinyl Tsum with the accessory. And they usually do a really, really nice job being creative on those. Matt, you made it. What's up, Clint? What's up, guys? Um, so just so you know, for people that are just joining, I am dual streaming. I'm on YouTube and I am on Instagram. And I'm, like, hitting both audiences because I really want to to do this one and have everyone see this one because I think it's going to be exciting to look at. Um, so anyway, open it up. The thing I like about the Disney Store, assume some subscription box, is that they give you like this little card that tells you um, what the theme is and it gives you pictures of the Tsum Tsums and tells you the names of the characters. So this month's theme is the princess and the frog. So I'm going to show it to each of you at one time. So there we go, Instagram people. There's the card and the Tsum Tsums we'll be looking at. And YouTube friends, there's the card with the Tsum Tsums that we'll be checking out. Now, I don't know that I've seen this movie. So um, the only character that I really know is just by seeing the pops and, and stuff at the Disney store is Tiana. So um, let's take a look. So we'll start with Tiana. So Tiana, oh, they did a cute little job on her. So here she is. And the Tsum, I'll show her over here first. She's got her traditional green and yellow on, and then her little tiara, it looks like. And like a little, almost looks like a little little cape or something. But there she is. All right, so here we go, YouTube folks. There is Tiana. They did a nice job on this one. She's cute. She's actually really soft. She's softer than some of the other ones in the face and everything. All right. So there we go. So there's Tiana. And this is from the, oh, it's her wedding dress. Ah, okay. Like I said, I haven't seen the movie yet. Oh, side note, someone over on YouTube, Matt, you know what's in here. All right. Um, so next we have, I'm doing a, yeah, double live, YouTube and Instagram. So I'm all over the place. All kinds of blind bag toy addicts showing up in your streams, yo. <laughs> All right, so next thing I have is Mama, Mama Odie. Am I saying that right? Mama Odie. Or, or is it Mama? <laughs> I don't know what my problem is. Mama Odie. Okay. Here she is. I guess I need to see this movie. It's a good movie. I love Tiana. She's one of my favorite. Oh, she is? Oh. So maybe I got to check out this movie. Mama. Okay. Thank you, Tiny Shopkins. All right. So I'm going to see Mama. I mean, I'm going to see the movie, but there's Mama Odie as the Tsum Tsum. I don't know if she's got like a, does she wear a hat and stuff? It has like a little collared suit on or something. All right. And Matt, you're in both streams. Look at you. <laughs> and the last one is the frog. The frog is kind of cute. It's like, it doesn't really look like a frog to me, but maybe that's part of the story. I don't know. But I don't think the Tsum Tsum really looks like a frog. It's got a little, it looks like a little butterfly there, but it's probably like it's a bow tie. I'm not sure. But there's the frog. It's pretty adorable. I think the frog is my favorite. So now, and it's funny, um, when I get stuff in the Disney Tsum Tsum, Caroline watched it a hundred times a week for months when she was in, <laughs> I totally have to, but it's funny, sometimes these Tsum Tsum boxes, I get the characters from movies that I haven't seen, and, and then I have to like go see it right away afterwards because I'm like, okay, I was, I picked these things up and I have no clue who these people are and I want to see this movie. So again, here's a nice little card that comes with. that tells you the Tsum Tsum's in there. So it's nice, because you can all, and I would love to see someone, like I'm not on top of displaying the Tsum Tsum's, because like I said, I'm not a big plush collector, but I would love to see someone, as of this year in January, they started um, 
doing these cards with their packages. I would love to see uh, that somebody's display where they displayed this, whatever came in their box for the month somewhere along with their card. I think that would be really, really, really cool if someone had some sort of display, some curio cabinet or something that they could display these in. I, I think that would be awesome. Unfortunately, I don't have the space to, to do that or, um, you know, I'm not really that into the Sum Sum Su display them. I'd rather display some other things, but I'd love, love, love to see someone do that. Platinum Princess, what's up? You're late. No, you're not late. We just did like a precursor. Um, how much is it subscription? You know what? Let me look at this bill and see if it says the price on here. So it's $24.95. And that looks like that includes the shipping. So price including shipping, uh, according to this, is $24.95. So if you're just joining, um, just so you know, I'm looking at both places because I'm streaming on YouTube and Instagram. And we just did the December 2017 Tsum Tsum box and the, that was um, the princess and the frog. That was the theme of the three plush Tsums that came in. Um, so I'll tell you right now, even though I'm not a big plush collector, I do think it's worth it. And if you really like the Simpsons and you like the plush, I think you probably really will think it's worth it. Um, so it's not always the size suit. Zoom. Sometimes there's a micro zooms. Sometimes there's actually, um, have you seen the new Zoom Zoom sets where there's like a big accessory house? Last month, last month was really cool. It was, um, oh my God. What's the Disney movie where it's the arcade and then there's the big guy? Oh. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about the, the arcade? Wreck-It Ralph, Wreck-It Ralph, right? Okay. So Wreck-It Ralph, they made an actual Wreck-It Ralph. They had a couple of the plush zooms, but they also made a plush um, arcade game that year seems actually went in. So it does all, they do all kinds of different things with the box, which is really neat. Um, and like I said, I like the fact that you get like the, the card that talks about them so you can actually keep it with it and display. So that, that's my opinion. I think it's worth it. Um, if you don't like Sims at all, then it's definitely not worth it for you. But if you like them or you really love them, you love Disney, Disney movies and those things, it's good because you also do not get these characters in any of the boxes. So. Wreck it, Ralph! You guys finally, yeah, I totally was like blanking for a minute. Oops! And this is my lemon sparkling water. <sighs> okay, we love that movie and Vanellope. I call hubby <laughs> fix it, Felix. And not fix it, Felix. I'm fix it nothing. <laughs> okay, all right, you guys, are you guys ready for? The Entertainment Earth Box. Yes. Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? You guys got to tell me you're ready. Otherwise, you know, we're not excited about this. I don't know. I don't know if we could share it. I'm just saying. I need, to, I need some excitement. That's what I'm talking about. There we go. Okay. Let's open it up. So, Matt who is on, I think, both of my feeds, actually tipped me off that these were up for pre-order. And I had seen them already at the local um, store in Chicago called Rotofugi. Amazing collectible, high-end collectibles, very nice collectible art, lots of kid robot, um, lots of, um, you know, kind of unique designs and toy designers there. So lots of really cool stuff. Anyway, so... Um, they they carry these there, so I'd seen them there, but they actually carry a very large ones there. And they came out with a mini series of these. So um, Matt sent me over a link. You know, he, he's on top of it, all this kind of stuff. And so he's like, hey, did you see these? And I'm like, what? I've seen them like in the big versions, but not the mini ones. And I didn't know that I could pre-order them. So I ordered these. All right. So I'm Seattle Laugh Out Loud. All right, so here it is. Yep, this is what they are. Okay, so we got this. If you guys don't know, Entertainment Earth, lots of good stuff on there. Um, prices are usually 
decent. Um, you could probably find certain things, good price. Like these are priced pretty, pretty reasonable there as a pre-order. Um, some things are probably a little high priced. It, it just depends. Um, but always good, good, good shipping, good turnaround time, good delivery on the on stuff I get from there. Okay. Here we go. And it's still in its case because I got an entire set. All right, you guys, an entire set. Here we go. Some of you guys may know what these are, may not until, you, until I open them and you look at them. But we have the Ron English minifigure serial killers series. So I don't know if anyone's ever heard of these. I'm super excited to get into these and check these out. All right, and show you guys these because these are going to be really, really cool. And again, this might not be for everybody, these particular things, but this is right up my alley on, on what I think are really, really cool. Um, all right, here we go. All right, so. First thing we'll do is we'll look at the box it came in. I'm so excited. Okay, here we go. This is the box it came in. You could see it's a spoof off of all the different main um, brands of cereal. Platinum, we have to savor this moment. These are amazing things. <laughs> and here is the side of the case, the back of the case. And then the other side, that's what the top looks like. So I'll show it on one screen first, and then we'll move to the next. All right, my YouTube peeps, there we go. I'm trying not to get the glare on it. That's pretty good, there we go. Yeah, so this is really exciting. Okay, we'll take the plastic off. Everyone's dying of anticipation here. That's a box you need to keep. I agree. They're staying in these boxes. And, and I almost don't, I don't know if we're gonna actually open the figures right now. I'm, I'm, I'm so torn, but we're gonna look at the boxes and we'll figure that out as we go. Okay, so plastic's off, so I'll take another peek at the top of the box. All right. So once we open this, oh, this is really just like a display case and we lost some already. <laughs> All right. And here's what we have in here. It's like mini cereal boxes and they're spoofs off of the different kinds of cereal, popular cereals that are out there. <laughs> Your neighbor excited. All right. Hey, Natalie, what's going on? You joined the live. Awesome. Okay. So like I said, I'm streaming on here and YouTube. So if you guys see me looking back and forth, I am like dual streaming here. I am all over the place. Okay. So let's pull each of them out and take a peek at them. There's actually in this box is the full series and there's 12 of these. All right. So um, the first one we have is, um, yeah, I think Toy Tokyo has them too on there. I never say this, but keep, I know, I know. I, okay, so, um, ugh. I'm trying to see. So the figures actually look exactly like what you see on the top of the box or in front of the box. So, I don't know, I really want to take them out. We might take them out later after we think about this and display it. I almost feel like I need two sets of these. I don't know. Anyway, okay, so here they are. So they're spoof on the cereals and they're kind of like turning them into like cereal killers. So it's kind of maybe not super appropriate, but you know, it's funny and it's fun, I think. So we'll go with the first one. First one is Sugar Smack, What Kids Crave, Big Um Sugar, The Sugar. And it says, <laughs> all right, so yeah, I'm just warning you guys, some of these are pretty inappropriate. So this is sugar, the other white powder. So <laughs> you could see what he's doing with, Mr. Sugar Smack here is doing with his cereal. 
<laughs> so again, warning you, these are kind of funny, but you know, be warned. Fortified with high fructose corn syrup. The true, true love in food form, fat food, propaganda, not recommended for human consumption. <laughs> yeah, a little bit naughty, a little bit naughty. Just saying, I warned you guys. Naughty frog, naughty frog. So this is the first one. Very cool. <laughs> and the next one is <laughs> the from, I think it would be Sugar Smacks. So here's this one. And again, like I said, not the most appropriate kind of things, but you know that going into this. And I think they're amazing. Um, honey is the root of evil. And that's what this one says for the sugar smacks. And I, actually, let me look at the nutritional facts. It can only get better from here, yes. Um, <laughs> so let me read like the nutritional facts on one of these boxes. It's, you know, everything on here is customized, so it's funny. Um, so calories, a lot. Calories from fat, tons. Total fat, plenty. Saturated fat, lots. Trans fat, fair amount. Polysaturated fat, lots. Monosaturated fat, <laughs> lots. Cholesterol, plenty. Sodium, ample. Potassium, 0%. Carbohydrates, zero. So it's got all that on there. Um, let's see, cartoon colored rainbow. Um, sugar, high fructose, high fructose syrup. Um, Trisodium phosphate yellow dye number 40. <laughs> so it's kind of crazy. It's got like the whole nutrition packs. Diabetes very, yeah. So if you missed it, the first one we have is Sugar Smack. You can see it's kind of all cracked out on sugar. <laughs> and the next one we have is Sugar Diabetes Bear, which is like a spoof off of Sugar Smacks. Okay. Mom watching here. Okay, good. <laughs> like, before girls don't let her see. But, you know, they wouldn't even. They, they'd probably be like, oh, it's cute. It's a cereal people, you know? So um, anyway, okay. So the next thing here we have is Cocoa Puffed Cuckoo for Calories. Great chocolate taste. So this is Cocoa Puffs. And this is what the actual figures look like in the box. And like I said, we're not quite opening the I just don't know what to do because they're so amazing. Um, or if I do open them, I'm going to do it very carefully so I can save the boxes because the boxes are as equally as awesome, I think, as a figure, the time and the effort they put into these. So there is the um, <laughs> mother disapproved. <laughs> Kid tested, mother disapproved. <laughs> All right, so there's that one. Let's see here. Next one we have is like Frosted Flakes. So this is Sugar Frosted Fat. They're gross. <laughs> Free Ritalin dose included. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Yeah, these are figures. So inside the boxes, there are these figures. They actually look like this. And these are um, Ron English and he makes a much larger size. So these are the three inch. So there might be like an eight inch ones. I think I've seen in the store. Six or eight, I think probably eight inch. If I think back to what it looks like in the store. So this one is um, true. Uh, this is again, the same thing as on one of the other bo boxes. All right. They just stare at me with anticipation. <laughs> Shh. Magic closet is a secret. Yeah. Shh. Magic closet is a secret. All right. So this one, I, so I actually Googled this cereal because I had never heard of the cereal. Um, and maybe you guys have. Um, and I don't think it's, you know, all these are spoofs. So this is not the exact name, but the figure, the, the mascot is the mascot kind of crazy up, crazy up to look like this. But do you guys know this cereal? It's a Quaker cereal. I don't know this cereal, but I Googled it and I found it. So I saw it, <laughs> but I did not um, know what the cereal was. 
I think we need to peek. <laughs> yeah, so this is a Quaker cereal. So Google it, you'll find it, but I've never, I've never tried it or don't know anything. I, I know nothing about it. Yeah, so it's crazy. So, but I, I kind of like this little figure guy. That's what he looks like too when I Googled it. Let's open that one. You guys are killing me. Was, um, okay, hold on. I got, not only, I'm using my computer here, my phone here. I've got another phone here. We're going to Google it. Um, and see if we can find out what is this cereal and like when it's from, from the fifties. What? <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Um, Q H R I S T Quaker. Q U H I S T. I don't think that's the right way to spell it. All right. So it's quest Q U E S T Quaker quest is the cereal. Oh wait, maybe that's not it. Nope. Hold on, C E R E A L. Okay, hold on, let me see. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Please open. Don't be strong. I know you guys are killing me. I can't. It's hard to be strong. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, Quis. I guess the cereal is Quisp. Q U I S P is the name of the real cereal. And where is it at? I know I've seen it. That little mascot. Or maybe that's not it. Hold on. Um, images. Hold on, let's see. Oh, no. Uh, uh, I can't find it. I'm going to have to keep Googling because I know it's out there. Um, let me see. Because I found it one time. Okay, I can't find it. We're not going to spend any more time on that. Just in a small slice in the plastic open. I recall in the first week, that's why there's no info. It was recalled. Oh, it was recalled in the Tiny Shopkins Collector. Are you serious? Did you just find that on Google? Because, like, we need the details. So I'm going to the next one. Fill us in. Educate us. Um, okay. So ne 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 next one is the Fruit Loop spoof. So, no. <laughs> Tiny, you're getting it. You're getting it. Don't mess with us. Um, so next one is the... Fruit looped, and it's the toucan, and he's a fruit. Loop. So this is a spoof of Fruit Loops. Yes, research it. Somebody research it, that cereal. It's not going to be that exact name. Maybe it is, but it's going to be something like this. And it's a, it's a Quaker cereal, so that might help with it. All right, so here it is. So that's the next one's Fruit Loops. So there's twelve in this series. All right, so here's the next one. Oh, um, Rice Krispie Treats, I think, right? Obesios, obesios. <laughs> Sugar, the other white powder, kindergarten, oh. <laughs> this one says 0% nutritional value. Kindergarten cocaine, like Coke for kids. Oh my God, that's terrible, kids. I'm just, I'm just warning you, but... It's supposed to be funny, so <laughs> so relax, and it's good. We're doing this at the funny hour <laughs> of 1040, so it's late. So anyone that's watching past their bedtime, that's your parents' choice to let you watch. <laughs> All right, so here it is. Um, anyone want, to, want me to follow them after this? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Those are the Rice Krispie ones. I like them because I, I don't know, they're just, I love the figures. I want to get Google these too. You guys will see the actual figures themselves because I guess I'm um, not taking them out of the box today. But these, this is Lucky Charms, Yucky Children Charmer, a, a good source of cavities. <laughs> Oh my God, I love that, the after hours with Blind Bag Toy Attic. Okay, new hashtag, after hours with BBTA. I love it. Uh, we might have to have a cocktail then on some of those. I think that's what we might need to do. Some after hours unboxings. Oh, I think we have it. We're gonna have to try that. Okay, 
Here we go. You should open toys and make a segment after he's just for parents. I know. I think so. I think I should. Okay. Um, are we recruiting Tiny? <laughs> yes. Everyone like, yes. Okay. Next one is um, Count Chocula cereal. So this is Count Chocula blood sugar crunch, excellent source of childhood diabetes. Um, Transylvania fat, like trans fat. Um, K from the grave. Free glucometer in every box. You have your cough medicine. Oh, oh yes. Me, Toyland. Cheers. I'm going to have to pop open a bottle of champagne now. I feel like this is going to be fun. Okay. So here we go. There's Count Chocula. Frankenberry. So this Frankenberry is frank and fat. Genuine artificial flavor. High fructose cavity producing goodness. Free. The worthless cereal coupon on the back of the box. <laughs> so this one looks pretty cool. Here we go. All right. We're just starting. <laughs> uh, new hashtag, holla. Yes, I love it. Okay, so here's that next one. So that one's pretty cool. And we got two left. So the next one, I know everyone really, really, really wanted to get that um, tricks, tricks Rabbit from the Funko store when they had their pop-ups and they had the flock one. Who needs a tricks Rabbit when you have this? Tricks. What does it say? Healthy rabbits don't eat tricks. Free lucky amputated rabbit's foot in every box. <laughs> oh my goodness. There we go. All right. Again, that's what the picture on there, I'm almost positive that's exactly what the figures look like. I can't imagine. Um, I can't wait to get these figures up like I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I need to take them out of the box. I'm not going to do it now, but putting them up and displaying. Like, you know how you get some figures that are just 100% display worthy? Like, I have, um, so this to me is an, a set that is 100% display worthy. That's what I feel like after tamales. What are you talking about? I love tamales. <laughs> that Trix Bunny looks like it got in the white stuff. <laughs> Search them on eBay. What are we talking about? Tamales. How do we get to tamales? How do we get that? That's what I feel like after tamales. I don't know. After 10 tacos. Oh, I love tacos. Why are we talking food? Now we're getting hungry. Um, there may be some that are open that you could see. Yeah. All right. So here's the last one. So this is Captain Crunch. This is Captain Corn Starch. Two scoops of sugar in every bite. Dentist recommended a good source of do tooth decay. Excellent source of source. Uh, excellent source of saturated fat. Kids go crazy. <laughs> so here's the last one. After Howard's blind bag. <laughs> That's so awesome. CC, what's going on? We're just reviewing our new Serial Killers mini figure series. Um, stay with us. <laughs> so that is all 12. So there's 12 in this series. Um, I picked these up from Entertainment Earth. I did a pre-order. Um, so it was free shipping. So for all those, um, you know, they're expensive because they're they're more of what you consider um, tacos and wine with BBTA after hours. Oh, tacos and wine. Oh, let me have a taco. I love tacos. Okay. Um, the cereal always shreds the top of my mouth. Which one? Tricks or Captain Crunch? Um, so anyway, <laughs> so Entertainment Earth, I picked these up. And like I said, these are more def um, definitely what you would call a collectible art figure. So they're going to be more on the, um, you know, higher priced. Um, I, I think these is actually pretty reasonable. Uh, 24, 21, 20. So it's less than, so these came out to 119 for the entire case. Um, 
But this is one of those series where I thought, okay, this is uh, one where I, I just can't have one. You know, like I, these are all amazing and I wanted, wanted the entire collection. So let me show you guys again. Like I said, I'll move it back from camera to camera. But let me show you guys again what the actual figures look like. There's 12 of them. Wait a minute here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Ah, uh, I knew I saw a figure on here that I didn't see in the mini series, and I'm wondering if it is in the larger series. Oh, and it would be the absolute favorite. Why do I not have this one? Okay, so it looks like there's one for. Booberry cereal, but on the box here, if you could see it, it says Pooh Fairy cereal. <laughs> what? Why is that not in here? Why? Why is that not part of this? Um, oh my goodness, I'm very upset now. We didn't do that one, did we? Or am I forgetting? I don't see it. No. Oh my goodness, so I'm gonna have to find out if that is on the Pooh Fairy. I'm going to have to find out if that is actually um, one that's in the mini series or not. Matt, you're good at that. Google it now. I need to know. <laughs> um, Pooh Fairy. Yeah. No, it's Pooh Fairy. It's Pooh Fairy cereal. And it says free invisible ghost toy inside. Um, fortified with um, sacred Pooh from the Last Supper. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> but um, that one, I don't know why that one's not in here. But anyway, here we go. That was the entire case. So let me put the display case back together so we can take a peek at it really quick um, again. But this one, as soon as I saw these, I knew I had to have them. Again, I did see them in uh, Roto Fugi, and but Roto Fugi also has the large size. I think they're, um, so these are three inch, so I think those are probably six or eight inch figures. Hold on. That um, they also sell in these same cereal um, line. So, you and your. <laughs> Did you guys see my new water bottle that I got in my tray? Not my tray, my, my um, prize box from Ohana. All right, so there it is. I'll put back together. And that's how the display case comes. So, you can. So, you'll find these in stores, like probably specialty. Um, collectible stores or possibly comic stores, you might find them. Um, you're not going to be able to tonight. You're going to think about opening it. I know. I'm going to have to open some other stuff to, to kind of satisfy my desire to open one. Okay, slice one open. Uh, I agree, Dan. No, 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 no. We're not going to do it. I might buy one. I don't know what I'm going to do. We'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. Are you going to open them one, at least one? I don't know. It's killing me. Yes, the water bottle is awesome. Um, let's see. Okay. So, which one would I really like to see? I actually really kind of want to see this one. And I know, okay, so I know that I'm eventually going to open these. I just know I am. And if I decide that I don't want to, I can always go buy one of these and replace it in the box. I'll have a 3 a.m. on Earth. Oh, so tonight, um, look at me, it's like, it, it would be awesome. Don't listen, Lavella. It would be awesome if I had a 3 a.m. urge because I can wake up, because don't forget if you guys are um, a pop lovers and um, you like, um, DuckTales, so Target's, um, I don't know what they're calling it, like special 12 weeks of Pops or something every Friday, they're putting one out. Gizmo Duck, yes, crazy for Funko Pops, yes. Tonight, Gizmo, Gizmo Pops go up. So I think it's supposed to be late for me, like in the middle of the night. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to snag one and they don't get all, um, eaten up, but I really, 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 really 
want a gizmo pop. I think it looks really cool. 3 a.m. for you. So anybody, if you are grabbing a gizmo pop, I'll probably grab um, two or so. Um, please don't leave me hanging. <laughs> All right, hold on. Um, so if you guys grab an extra, I'm sure you, and, and if you grab extra and you don't need them, you can always just take it back to the Target store. So if anyone's gonna snag them, you get one, grab an extra just in case. Just in case. Okay, so DuckTales. So here's the deal. I can buy at my Rotofugi, I can buy and put an un unopened one in this box and I have no problem having duplicates of some of these. Um, but I know, like I said, I'm gonna open them because I wanna display them because I have one other set of figures, a series where I have the entire series that I really, really, really enjoy and I have it displayed in my office at work. It's the um, Kid Robot, Andy Warhol series one Dunnies. I have the entire series, even the um, rare one. And I put it in like a display box in my office because they look amazing. So I'd like to do something like this too. Oh yeah, Dunnies, I love the Dunnies, definitely. I need to start um, hunting down series two of the Kid Robot, but we're gonna give into the temptation. Um, so we're gonna look at this one because I'm just curious about this one too. And did anyone Google this and get the 411 here? What is the serial all about, you know? But anyway, um, did we just become best friends? At least, yes, we did. BFFs, BFFs, okay. Um, all right, so let's do it. This is the sugar-coated savior cereal. All right, I'm gonna be very careful when I open this because it's amazing. Okay. All right, here we go. Being a little difficult. Plastic's coming off. Are you guys excited? She hasn't looked yet. I don't laugh out loud. She isn't back. Okay. Oh, where did traveling go? Someone needs to ping her and say, yo, we are opening one, one and only. Oh, there you are. Okay. We're, we're opening it. All right, here we go, here we go. I hear rapping. We are opening, I don't know if you call this one, Quist, or Christ, Christ, Christ? I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to call. Okay, here we go. Plastic's off, let's see. Hopefully, all right, so you guys probably know this if you um, wine refill, <laughs> yes. Wine break. Unfortunately, it's sparkling water. You guys probably know this if you collect the mystery minis, is that, um, wait, I'm back. I think somebody probably already answered, but yeah, I don't think you can get Pooh poo Fairy in a set. Ah, okay, I'm gonna have to find hunt down Pooh Fairy. So yes, I'm opening the Quaker run. I'm craving tacos. You guys are all over the place. Ah, um, all right. So, you know, if you get mystery minis, I hate it when they put too much glue like this, on the top of the box, because then you ruin the box a bit when you're opening it. So give me a second, I'm gonna to try to be real careful with this, and hopefully, I'm gonna open from the bottom, and there's not, so there are, there's a lot of glue on this, unfortunately, which sucks, and I might get my nice little razor in here to try to keep it clean, open. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, I got a pretty decent open to this. So it's not, the box is in nice shape. Use a blade. Oh yeah, I got the blade out. Me, me too, tacos for a nice snack. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Don't kill me, don't worry. I'm a very nice person. So here we go, here we go. Are you guys ready? All right, so we're, we're being very careful. That's why we're kind of fumbling here. because We don't want to bend anything. Oh, okay. So they are actually wrapped up in a bag. So it's like they're in a blind bag. They're, these are made for me. All right, so, ah, sorry. Here we go. Where's my head? There's, here we go. 
Is it okay if I DM? Yeah, sure. DM, DM away. DM away. Okay, you guys ready? Oh, that's so funny. All right, so let me fix this little helicopter thing because it's bendable. Oh my God, I love this thing. Okay, so here it is. Here is the figure and I'll do a little 360 here and then move it over to the YouTube camera. So those, oh, look at this little booty. <laughs> All right, here we go. Cece, I'm not leaving you hanging. It's here, it's here. I got it. Sleazy Toys, you like these. I, I, this Sleazy Toys, these are right up your alley. Man, these, these are right up your alley. All right, so there we go. There's our little guy. Let's do the box so we can kind of show you the comparison here. Here's the box. How awesome is it? This, maybe this display set up with all the boxes kind of like this, side by side. I don't know, we have to figure out display options side by side, on top of the, I think I like on top of the box. But yes, these are pretty amazing. Now I want to see them all. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw it. Thank you for opening one. It's cute. Yeah, they're, they're really, really cute. They're really nicely, really, really original figures in the sense that they took serial characters and kind of made them, you know, a little bit inappropriate, <laughs> that's okay. Um, but you know, just looking at it from a figure standpoint, it's just cute too. Yeah. So there we go. Um, I'm here, English serial killers, never heard of them. What, so this is not, um, I had a question on YouTube, never heard of the, so it's not, um, so Ron English is the um, designer, the artist, or, you know, I don't know what he would call himself, um, created these figures. Serial Killers is the line, and it's a spoof off of different popular serial brands. And this is what they look like. So we just looked at one figure because we're not going to open them all. Um, so they're kid tested, mother disapproved. And that's what the figures look like, these characters, but they're kind of spoofed on how basically it's, it's all kind of built around how cereal has way too much, um, a Google artist, thank you, thank you, thank you, um, way too much sugar in them. So they're making fun of the fact that these cereals that are kid cereals are probably pretty horrible for us. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm taking it from it. Um, but they're, they're really, really cool figures. I'm pulling this up so I can lean against the couch so my back doesn't bother me from hunching over. Um, but CC, mix, meant trick cereal. Oh, okay. Are you going to open all of them, especially the trick set? No, I'm only going to open that one, just that one for now. I might do some others. I want to have time to carefully open each box because I want each box to stay in really good condition because I need to, um, I want to make sure I display them. So that's why we're only going to do one right now. And you guys literally talked me into one. So I'm going to resist the other ones and I'll show you my Sim Sim card again. <laughs> um, or maybe we should just go on our taco break, right? No. Or someone brought up tamales and I love tamales. I love the corn masa. Anyway, now I'm all over the place. Um, but anyway, there we go. That um, is what we had come in today. Ron English. Um, thank you, Alicia, for looking that up. It is a, you know, he's a, um, Google him. He's a, he's a artist. And if you Google, you'll see some of his stuff. I made tacos for supper. Well, we'll be right over. You're going to get all of us coming over. <laughs> so again, here it is. Here's the box. Here's the figures. Don't worry, cry. You guys know I'm going to be back with these, so don't get too upset. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> anyway, I think these are amazing. I hope you guys really, really like them. 
I'm excited to figure out what the heck I'm going to do when it comes to display. I just, I just cook some tamales. Oh, you make them. That's a lot of work. Credit to you. Um, so let me DM you my address. So send me some, no, actually my dad, um, doesn't make them, but we, um, go to this place where they make them, um, you know, every day. So, I mean, you literally pick them up and they're warm. They're still warm. Polenta, oh, polenta with saute mushrooms. Mm. Okay, what are we talk, we got, talking about all this food here? Mmm, okay. Tamales are a lot of work. Yeah, I just learned to make pozole. Oh, everybody's like cooking and stuff. Look at that. Yeah, so we just unboxed for people that just joining. I'm streaming on Instagram. I'm streaming. Scott, sorry to say this. Don't like it. Don't like what? Um, streaming on Instagram, streaming on... YouTube. And we looked at some figures. I don't really like Menudo. But I don't know that I've had it in quite a long time. Yeah, we're just a bunch of foodies. I agree. Um, so we looked at some really cool figures from Run English. Oh, you'll DM me later? Okay. Um, and then also to some good, we looked at some Tsum Tsums. So anyway. Um, anyway, so that's everything that we did tonight. And we're talking about food now. So that's all. But we need to throw a taco party in honor of the new hashtag. And it's, I guess we're going to have to do it on a Tuesday, too, if we're going all out, you know? Taco Tuesdays. <laughs> what, Menudo is the best? I haven't had Menudo in years. Um, and I think it's probably because when I was um, – I had a long time ago as a little kid. I don't remember. Like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I like it anymore, I guess. I haven't had it in years. I think my aunt used to make it. We need a big nan sign behind me. <laughs> you got a pillow of some lady behind me. That's what you got. I'll take a neon sign. Let's check your fridge. Laugh out loud. Taco Tuesday. Um, after hours of BBTA. I don't think, can I flip the camera while I'm on here? Oh, I can. Oh, you guys can see I'm watching tennis. So if you guys don't know, I'm a big tennis fan and these are the tennis matches leading up to the Australian Open. So it's actually daytime, you know, so their matches are middle of the night, basically. Menudo is for hangovers. That's what I've heard. Okay. Oh, Haley, yes, I know, I know. I need to email you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will. It's just every time I go into your message on my phone and try to cut and paste your email address, it doesn't let me, and I need to do it on my computer. But I'm going to do that. Um, so Serena, oh my God, crazy for Funkos. We're right here. Serena, that's my girl. Actually, love Serena, but Venus is probably in my heart, my favorite, um, because I mean, she's just an inspiration, I think. Anyway, are you cheering the Vikings on Sunday? I I'm assuming you're cheering the Vikings on Sunday. I can't say that I'm cheering the Vikings on Sunday. <laughs> um, but yes, super excited about the Australian Open. Serena was going to come back because she just had her, had her baby, but she is not ready, so she's not playing this tournament. But can't wait to see her. So hopefully her sister does well. I love seeing Venus do well as well. Ooh, bold questions. Questions is right. Um, Old school tennis versus new. Oh man, it's crazy. It's crazy, and that's like the men's game too. Roger Federer, Nadal. Okay, so anyway, we're getting off on all kinds of little tangents here, but I am um, gonna have to clean up this mess over here. And now, because of all this food snack, I'm gonna have to go um, food talk. I'm gonna go have to go find a snack. Um, and then I don't know if I want something sweet or salty now. I'm not even sure. Anyway, so if you missed the Sooms, I'll show you again really quick before we kind of call it a night. 
Um, December 2017 was the Princess and the Frog. All right. Thanks, Nellie's mom. You guys have a good night. Um, and here they are. And these are all the ones that came in this month's subscription box. May the deity be his bear with all of you. <laughs> oh, good night. Susie Toys, what time is it even where you're at right now? He's our German friend, guys. All right, so that was um, the Serena and Vias live. Lived about 30 minutes away. Oh, my God. All right, so that would be amazing. I would be over there trying to be like, will you play tennis with me? <laughs> That'd be nuts. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in for the live stream. Um, I hope it wasn't too crazy. Salty. I, I'm thinking the same thing, something salty. I hope it wasn't too crazy going with both streams at the same time. I think it went pretty successfully. Let me know what you guys think. I was glad I was able to do both. Um, and I will be back again soon with a new video because I really have um, some exciting, um, probably a longer video of Animal Jam. I've been stocking up on Animal Jam because that's been on major clearance at Target. And I've also have a bunch of Series 2 and only a couple of Series 3 because I'm still on the hunt for more Series 3 chubby puppies. Just saying. That one. And then I have the new YouTube poopies figures that I've got to open. That's going to be amazing. That's going to be hilarious. So, all right. Good night, CC. Thank you for joining. Shoot me a DM. Um, I saw Carly's picture, though. She looks super cute with all that stuff. I hope she's enjoying it. Um, your blind boxes are awesome. Thank you. Yay. My bugs are awesome. Come to Florida. I actually be in Florida next weekend. I'm doing a half marathon in Clearwater. So I will be in Florida next weekend. First half marathon of the year. Got to get it going. Right, Ewok? You need to do one. Okay. All right, guys. Good night, good night, good night. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed. I'll be back again soon with a new video. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check out... Um, I'll probably do a couple of blind bags tonight before I go to bed. Um, and we'll see if I can keep myself out of Target for the rest of the week, but I doubt it. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a good night. Talk to you later. Bye.